please uh, forgive that chainsaw noise in the background. The DOT is cutting down a tree, so I hope it doesn't interfere too much. Anyway, I had a viewer to ask me a question. They said, uh, have you ever had a spinometer, spinometer uh, on, your on my bike, on my bicycle? Yeah, I've had two or three different spinometers. I bought one. The best one I bought was from Sears back in the early 90, 1990s. It was wired. And the trouble with the two or three that I've had, they always shorted out. I always, always want wireless, a wireless spinometer. They're like twice the price, but I've always heard they get a little interference. So that's why I kind of stuck to wired. Well, it was cheaper, but uh, my next one I get will be wireless, regardless of any interference. Well, anyway, I went to Sears and I bought one, put it on, installed it on the bike, and uh, to measure the accuracy, I a uh, casual walks three miles per hour, and a brisk walk is uh, five. So I uh, walked with the bike at a casual walk. And the, the speedometer was yellow. Uh, and boy, Sears made a good speedometer. Had his large L, uh, LCD numbers. Anyway, I casual walked. It showed three miles an hour. And I brisk walked. It showed five. Extremely accurate. Uh, and they all, the viewer also wanted to know what's the fastest the speedometer ever showed me uh, riding a bicycle. Uh, I got it up to 43.6 miles per hour. That's 4.3, 4.3.6. 43 43.6 miles per hour, sustained. And I don't like riding that fast because obviously on a bicycle it's more dangerous. Uh, I like to keep my speed right around, uh, you know, approaching 30 miles per hour 28 29 somewhere in there i don't mind that i feel very comfortable at that speed but 43.6 miles per hour yeah yeah i know that's fast and that's not on an expensive bicycle that's on a walmart 100 160 dollar bike it's on that was on a cheap bike did it vibrate or anything no, a uh, surprise. A lot of bike, a lot of cheap bikes wheel makes them dangerous, but it was smooth, real smooth. I just like it didn't have disc brakes, which is much much better at that high rate of speed. I just had regular caliber, and they're good brakes. But when you're when you're doing nearly forty four miles per hour, you don't feel safe enough with just rim brakes. No, so. If I ever do that fast again, it will be on a bike with disc brakes. And I got a I got a bike here with disc brakes, but my chain rusted off. So I'm on another bike. Yeah, I guess that winter salt is a lot worse. It looked like somebody poured acid over it. Yeah. And the bike wasn't that old. I bought a brand new last November. But I gotta get a chain to put on it. But, uh, yeah, uh, that was back in probably, I don't know, uh, I said early 90s. That was probably about 1990 when I had that speedometer. I'm trying to think what I did with it. I can't remember. It still might be at my mom and dad's in storage. I didn't throw it away. I, I don't throw nothing away like that. No, I keep it. Just got to find it. I need to go through my mom and dad's storage, see if I can find it. Put it back on. It, had, it, it did get a shortened cord. I just would splash the cord. But a real nice speedometer. I bought it at Sears. Yeah, 43.6 miles per hour. Sustained.